I'm looking forward to tasting this with that generous quenelle or dollop of ricotta here. Well, it feels gentle when you taste it first, but because it's got specks of the green chili in that, you can definitely feel that heat creep up on your palate. Hi folks, we're on the Hoppetizer Trail presented by Hopper Authentic Belgian Craft Beer and Food Lovers. And today we are in Whitefield at Lord of the Drinks, a very popular resto bar that specializes in global cuisine. So let's talk to the chef and find out what's in store for you on the Hoppetizer Trail at Lord of the Drinks. So I'm with Chef Himmat Rotella, who's a corporate chef for Lord of the Drinks. So chef, what do we have on the Hoppetizer trail menu? Yeah, so as a hopper has a, a launch of two beers, a wheat beers and a brown beers. As a wheat is a, a light and bright beer, so it's great paired up with the, uh, the seafood, all right, food, stings and other kind of food. So what do you have paired with the hopper blonde? So blonde for, we usually uh, do a cheeses, a lot of cheese like the ke kebabs and all. Oh lovely. Chef, the dahi ke kebab sounds delicious. So let's get to the table and taste what's in store for you on the Hoppetizer Trail here at Lord of the Drinks. Well, it's a nice sunny afternoon here in Whitefield at Lord of the Drinks. Just the perfect sort of weather to enjoy some chilled hopper beer. So we have a crab lollipop. Crab lollipop. So it's made with the crab meat and the marinade with the gun powder. All right. Chili. With the chili mayo and the, the mustard uh, dressing in the top. Lovely. And then you have the chicken sliders. The normal classic chicken slider. Served with the, the garlic aioli. With the garlic aioli. This is like a meal in yeah. itself. You have one of these and you have a beer, that's it, you're set. Yeah. So uh, this is for the blonde beer. So the cheese and parmesan and uh, ricotta bruschetta with the aragulas and the garlic mayo and all. All right. And then you have this is the it's a mushroom and cheese roll. So it's more like a cigar boreki. Yeah. So it's again it goes with the blonde beer. And it's then what nice is the pairing. sauce that you have with that? The dip? It's uh, a sriracha mayo. A sriracha mayo. Yeah. Lovely. The hik ke kebab. It's made of. Orange and cheese. So yeah. orange what? Orange zest. peel. Orange peel, orange yeah. zest. Orange zest on it. So it's hung curd, hung yogurt. Yeah, hung curd and a little bit of cheese on it. What cheese? So we use ricotta. Ricotta. All ricotta. Right. So I think there's a lot of thought that Chef has put into the Hoppetizer trail menu. Let's taste it and see what's in store for you on the Hoppetizer trail at Lord of the Drinks. So I think I'm going to begin with the dahi ke kebab. The dahi ke kebab is mildly flavored, but then I think there's also some green chili bits in it that's giving it, that's elevating that spice in that dahi ke kebab. A gentle start to the hoppetizer trail here at Lord of the Drinks. Well, it feels gentle when you taste it first, but because it's got specks of the green chili in that, you can definitely feel that heat creep up on your palate. But it's an interesting hoppetizer or an appetizer that you can pair with beer. I think time to bring the bruschetta out. Such a pretty sight, isn't it? You got the parmesan, it's got some ricotta. I think the ricotta is herbed. And then you got arugula, the rocket. There's also some candied walnut in that. So of course it's a great dish to have if you like your greens, if you like your arugula. And then as you taste the creaminess of the ricotta and that salty hit of the parmesan, you suddenly bite into that candied walnut and it takes the flavour, it takes your palate in an entirely different direction. I'm looking forward to tasting this with that generous quenelle or dollop of ricotta here. If you like your appetizers, light and healthy, this is certainly something that you should try. 
I think the mildly hoppy bitterness of the blonde cuts through the creaminess of the ricotta bruschetta. But I also think it will be interesting to taste this with the wheat as well. Also another excuse to savor another bite of this lovely bruschetta here. But next we're going to try the mushroom and cheese roll here. I think this probably is an ode to something Mediterranean, very similar to a cigar boreki. This mushroom cheese roll is served with a sriracha mayo, just to spice things up a bit. I was expecting the umami hit of the mushroom. So because the mushroom is mixed with the cheese, it's a bit tame in its flavor, but I think that's what the sriracha mayo here is for. I think that's going to oomph up the flavor quotient of this roll. I love the tart edge of that mayo and then of course the gentle heat of the sriracha. So gunpowder in almost everything seems to be the rage these days and here at Lord of the Drinks they have their own version of a gunpowder laced appetizer and this one is the crab lollipop it seems to have more of the pop and less of the lolly but then you're interested in that pop of course it's not the sort of hit that you expect when you're tasting crab in its complete form but i think with that gunpowder and that chili mayo It does make for an appetizing bite. I love the creamy character of the Belgian wit. It cradles the the gentle spice that comes from the gunpowder and that chili mayo. It cradles the flavors so beautifully well. I think last but certainly not the least, we're going to head to the chicken sliders. You come here order one of these with a hopper beer you're set for a few hours at least you know whenever i'm eating a burger of any sort i'm looking for some strength in the bun because i want that bun to be able to hold the meat of course this is not a dripping you know loaded mile high sort of a burger the burger is nice and savory it's seasoned just right and it has a crunch of the lettuce if you're looking for a appetizer that's more of a meal i think the chicken sliders here definitely qualify so i've enjoyed my tasting of the appetizer trail menu here at lord of the drinks so if you're in whitefield or in the area and you're looking to taste appetizers that lean towards world cuisine Definitely find your way to Lord of the Drinks and ask for the appetizer menu. And for every two hoppers ordered, you get a appetizer on the house. Cheers.